Ferro por todas las estrellas en Rolls Royce. El bote parqueado en San Croy. Viviendo la vida como si se va a acabar hoy. Yo, tranquilo en la mía que estoy. Zafiro, Dios más los bendiga. Mis hijos no nacerán otro como Floy. La baby le llegan. Los míos al día no le faltan nada. Las guaguas son negras, están todas blindadas. Tú ronca allá afuera y tú no eres nada. Es que mi tiempo me vale dinero, no te asustes si te enseño todos los ceros. La vida me bendijo porque me mero, soy mi jefe, eso va por lo que yo quiero. Minor League Baseball is live and on the air on the show. Tonight the opener of a three-game series between the Oklahoma City Dodgers and the Albuquerque Isotopes. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Please welcome your Albuquerque Isotopes. Phil McCracken gets the call for game one of the series. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Well, this guy certainly could be one of those horses for courses kind of guy. He loves pitching at home. Take a look at those home road splits. They're pretty good. Without question, he's more comfortable pitching at home than he is on the road. Ready now is Alex DeJesus. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Alex DeJesus. Plays it one here. First pitch on its way. Just yep, off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Fellas are home nine as they begin play here this evening. They come in not exactly setting the world on fire as they've dropped five of their last eight ball games. Yeah, Maddie, I know they lost their last game, but you know as well as I do, in this sport, you have to have short term memory. You have to let it go. They can get it going back in the right direction today. Weather shouldn't be much of a factor. 71 degrees here at game time. Jacob Amaya will be next. And he lays off. Ball four. And the leadoff man is on to begin the ball game. Three of those pitches were definitely out of the zone. But that last pitch looked pretty darn good to me. You're not usually going to get many favorable calls on 3-0, and though. You have to earn that spot. The shortstop, Jacob Amaya. Stepping in now, Jacob Amaya. As he'll pop this one foul off to the left and out of play. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Nope, ball one. Hey, roll up, huh? Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline down, seem down. to be the way to go right here. Fielded cleanly. There's yeah. one on to first, but not in time as he's in there ahead of the throw. So the next to bat will be Ray Marcus. As you get a look at his current righty lefty splits entering play in this one. First offering on its way. Swings and lines it to left, two, two. but pretty much right yeah, at yeah. the left fielder as he takes it in for the second out. Time to
now to give you a look at the batting order for the visiting squad. Dero, what do you got in this lineup in the series opener? You know, Matty, I took a look at this lineup today and getting a chance to talk to some of the guys around the cage. One thing that they that preached cool. to me was the fact the that they team. were dead last in the league in grounding into double plays and well aware of the fact that they don't shoot themselves in the foot. They give themselves a chance when they're putting guys on base to drive in runs and not get that two for one sale. Hey, we got two. Ani takes two something off there and had him way out in front for strike two. Pitch out. I got the count. Nothing one doing. Two. Now a throw over, and he's back standing. And again a throw, keeping particularly close tabs on him. Here comes the one two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. So it's no run on no hits, no errors, and one man left on. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one, no score. Now at the plate, Miles McMillan. And as you check out his righty lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right handers. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0 1. Hey, when you're featuring a mid 90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off speed pitches later in the game. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Didn't mess around much in that at bat then. No that was pretty impressive Matt. I really like a pitcher that trusts and works off his fastball and right there. He decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go grab some bench. That exists. And that'll bring up the catcher Chance yeah. Cisco lifted the other way down the left field line. And it's a foul ball. He'll enter play here with an average just over 250. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Aye. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. That fastball was a lively one. You could hear the pop of the glove all the way up here. 
Hey, I admit I'm a little biased. There's nothing better than that pop of a glove on a good fastball. Looking forward to hearing a lot more of that pop the rest of this one. Swing and a miss at the curveball, and there's your second out of the inning. Six pitches, two strikeouts in the inning. Hard to beat that, and beyond that, he has to feel good about the way the curveball is coming out of his hand. That was a nasty-looking pitch. Into the box, Drew Avon. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. And this ball is popped up, drifting back behind the mound. McCracken will put this one away, and the side is retired. Nothing across here this half. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. And we are tied, nothing, nothing. So here is Andy Pajas, and the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Here's the pitch. Sends that one out of play for strike one. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Batting done. The pitcher, number 31. Xavier. Into the box now, Xavier Javier. He'll roll over it and send it to shortstop. Right to him. On to first as the throw takes care of him, and it's a quick two-up, two-down start to the third. Next, now it'll be Alex De Jesus worked a walk his first time up. Pitch on the way. As he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. You know, a lot of guys don't like to swing at the first pitch. That might be the case with this one right here. Took a wheelhouse fastball, 0 oh, oh, center cut. Didn't even give the impression he was swinging. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. The count is one. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0 oh 2, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. Two balls. There's two a strikes. shin high slider laid off for a ball. Regardless of the result right here, to be down 0 2 and work it back to an even count, got to feel like it's a win for the offense. Hit the short. He's got it. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So nothing happening this time around. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. And we are tied, nothing, nothing. 